Hi everyone, this is CVGS, I'm Dempster and today we will be taking a look at BSC33. I'm on my own again as usual, don't worry, I'm alright. <laughs> so, uh, the name of this booster is actually very simple, it's just School Story. Uh, and it's the annual Diva Booster for Battle Spirits. This is a must-have every single year. They come out once a year. So, uh, the date of release for this box is on the 23rd of March. And uh, what it boosts, basically, well, as you can see on the cover, it, bas it boosts everything that has to do with the Divas. Um, some new Divas will be coming in, while some older ones will be making a return with new cards over here. So, uh, let's just take a quick look at the cover and everything else over here. So, at the front, we've got Rayoba in the center. She's always the main star, somehow. And on the right, she we have a new member called... Thunder Z Leonora, uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. And over here we have Noir Fleur. And this theme is specifically themed after winter uniforms. That's why they all look like this. They all dress like typical high school girls on from from spring to autumn to winter. Autumn, winter, spring. And at the, uh, the side's really nothing much, but at the back we've got even more amazing art. Uh, of course featuring Noir Fleur. Uh, Ray Oba and Jean Dronius, I think. And they all look very, very cute because they're all dressed in their kimono, ready to go make an offering at a shrine and praying for good luck. And their good luck has been answered, so this is what we got. <laughs> Alright, so um, let's get to the opening. Let's take a look at what's inside first. Alright, we've got a box topper this time around, and we have. One of the one of the campaign cards for this set, uh, producer Lily, which I will get to in a bit. So as usual, there are a total of twenty packs in one box, and eight cards in each pack. So this is the that's the reason why the box seems a little thick. So let's just get to it, shall we? All right, after opening 20 packs in one box in total, this is what we got. The points here, very important. Keep them because you need them for exchanging for goodies during tournaments. Uh, the common stacks are over here, uh, the rares and the master rares. Now, if you, if you have noticed already, every single card here is full art. Now, this is obviously not the first time that they've done it, but uh, it's really nice because it shows everything uh, that the artists have to offer and their artworks here are all very, very beautiful. But our main focus over here is the X-rays that we got. Uh, we've got five in total, but two of them duplicates, which I'll get to in a bit. Uh, and of course, we also have the campaign topper here. So I'll get that. I'll get to that last. All right. Obviously, these are not all the cards that are featured in this set. So if you want to see the rest and English translations of all these cards, you can head over to Wall of Cards and you can see all the uh, the the translations there. Links are in the description below. So. Without further ado, let's get to the very first one. This is Winter Outfit Noir Fleur from Team Shiny Hearts. So her skill list, Radiant Descent, uh, Diva cost 6 or higher. And level 123, when this spirit descends or attacks, destroy one opposing spirit of BP 12k or lower. Uh, second skill during dissension level 3 when this spirit attacks both players discard their entire hand and open zone after that both players draw from their deck until they have three cards in their hand this effect can only be used once a game once per game so if you haven't noticed already this is very akin to uh, Sigwam Nova I think because first of all it's got double symbol and the name is Noah flu it's very sim it sounds very similar to uh, Sigwam Nova and the skill is also very similar to I'm not sure about the original one but the revival one is just like that once per game you can discard the entire hand in the open zone but for this one you get to draw uh, both players get to draw three cards so it's a very nice callback to that all right the second card that we have here is Academy Witch Corte Winter Outfit from Sandria well, it's a very long name. And she's from the team Twilight Gothic. So her effect, level 1, 2, and 3, when this spirit is summoned, send one opposing spirit to the top of your opponent's deck. In addition, by sending three cards from your Grand Walker Nexus containing the name Producer to the Void, your opponent cannot increase their hand size during the next turn. And last, uh, next skill, when this spirit attacks, for each song magic card on your field, send one card from, your opposing sp from an opposing spirit to the opponent's trash. Wow! Wow, 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 this is really, really awesome. Um, and for the fact that your opponent cannot increase their hand during their next turn. 
uh, does this include effects only or uh, does this actually mean effects only or does it include the draw phase as well uh, that one will be covered during the rulings when the, 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 the set actually comes out but it is still a very strong effect nonetheless it, it blocks your opponent from drawing any additional hand size and it's very painful especially to those uh, decks that require a lot of drawing especially in the current scene the red decks um, the thunders the thunders egg deck i think so wow this is a very good counter to that all right and the next card that we have now this one is a duplicate but we have two different artworks and they both look amazing. I think one is a secret card, a secret rare, a secret art, and uh, alternate art I would call it. And the other one is the normal one. So her name is Winter Outfit Rias Ulvorn. I hope I read it right. <laughs> and she's from the team Pretty Animals and Twilight Gothic. So a skill when the spirit is summoned level one, two, three, send two cards from the opposing spirits to your opponent's reserve. In addition, by sending up to three cards from one of your Grand Walker Nexus with only the color yellow to the Void, for each card sent to the Void, activate this effect once more. Wow. That sounds very familiar. <laughs> and level 2 and 3 during your turn, when your spirits containing the name Winter Outfit leaves the field by any opposing effects, send one card from your opponent's life to the Void. Wow. Okay, this is actually very scary. <laughs> in that during your turn, if your opponent decides to destroy it, uh, destroy any of your spirits or bounce it back to your hand or deplete it, your opponent takes one straight away. Woohoohoo! Well, but, but of course, it has to contain the winter outfit name, which is the majority of this set. So, what are the chances, right? <laughs> wow, this is really strong. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, and the next card that we have, this is the Lightning God Maiden Sandy Z Leonora. I said Sand Thunder, right? My bad. Sandy Z Leonora. Uh, if it's, it is obvious enough, this is uh, this is based off Thunder Z Leon. So let's see what her skill is. By the way, she's also from the team Grand Siesta, which is a new team in this set, and Shining Hearts. So the effect is a uh, God Descent. So you can send one, send your soul call to your trash, or one call from Grand Walker Nexus to your spirit, then you descend her. Level 1 and 2 and 3 when this spirit attacks. At the end of the battle, by adding one card from Grand Sea Star below, uh, with Grand Sea Star below this spirit as a base card, this spirit refreshes. In addition, if a, th if a life is 3 or lower, send one card from your opponent's life to your opponent's reserve. So, what do you know? This is really based off Thunder Z Leon after all, and the skills are pretty similar as well. Um, the fact that if you build an entire Grand Sea Star deck and you send cards under her as a base, you refresh her, and if your life is three or lower, which most of the case you won't want to, you want to get to that level anyway. If you're playing her, uh, you send one call from your opponent's life to the reserve. Your opponent takes one. You snipe one. That is a very good skill. <laughs> wow. Okay. And last but not least, no idol is complete without the producers. So over here we've got. I didn't want to open the pack. Uh, this is producer Lily, and she's based off the grand, uh, the adventurer Lolo. A call charge conditions are. Diva, that's it. But you can only uh, you can only do it once per step for when if you summon or descend a diva. So her level one and two, this nexus symbol is also treated as yellow. This one is kind of a given already. And grand skill level uh, grand skill two level one and two flash during both players attack step by sending two cards from this nexus to the void. Draw one from your deck and then refresh one of your spirits with the family diva. So it plays very well with. Uh, Sandy Z Leonora as well. Z Leonora as well. And Grandfield level 2, when summoning a spirit card without paying the cost through your spirits from the family diva, all opposing spirit effects cannot be activated. So basically, it doesn't stop zero counter, that's for sure. Uh, but your opponents cannot activate any of the effects if you are summoning without paying the cost. Uh, and I, I think there are quite a, quite some spirits that do that already. Like say for example, uh, if like I think there was one card back then from Ninja, Ninja Gale. Like if your opponents, if I think either you or your opponent, I can't remember, summons a spirit uh, without the without the Ninja Gale, uh, it gets summoned in an exhausted position. So this one counters that pretty well, and it's only one call required to be level two. So good luck, <laughs> but. I'm not sure how many people are playing that right now and I'm, I'm pretty sure the meta keeps on changing, the scene keeps on changing, uh, a lot of uh, new ideas will come in, uh, especially with the addition of this diva set, so who knows, things will change, but it's still a good counter nonetheless. So that is, uh, that is all 
for the Divas performance. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you waved your like sticks, you are awesome throughout this video. Uh, but in any case, if you want to see the rest of the cards and all the English translations for these cards as well, do head over to World of Cards. Links are in the description below. So that's it. If you want to see more Battle Spirit stuff from us and if you want to see the Divas in action, do subscribe to us and ring the bell on the side so you can be notified of all of our updates. At the same time, follow us on our socials, join us on Discord where there are most nights and yeah, talk to us there. So that's it. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!